Hey guys, it's Kaylee. I am back with a little bit of a different video. Today we're going to be doing not only a thrift haul, but we're also going to be listing the items in the thrift haul. Some of you have mentioned to me that you really struggle to find brands in your area that all these resellers online are talking about. And while I do think there are specific bolos for specific regions and one that you're more likely to come across, I also believe that you can source for more than just brands. And so whenever I find myself in a situation where I'm not finding the brands that I would like to find, then I try to pivot and focus on factors or trending styles. I recently picked up a handful of pieces that were just specifically style based and I wanted to do a thrift haul of those finds with you, talk about why I picked them up, what factors were involved in my decision making, as well as listing them and sharing with you some of the keywords that I think will really help to sell those items. Before we dive into today's thrift haul and listing, I wanted to take a moment to talk once again about a favorite partner on this channel. Dusty is an online fragrance company that takes inspiration from luxury perfumes and colognes and recreates those scents, but at a much more affordable cost to you. It's one of my favorite ways to treat myself while on a budget. You guys know I love saving money. They have women's, men's, and unisex fragrances. In fact, some of my favorite scents are the unisex ones. This month, I ordered a men's scent for Joe. This is Aquatic Watermelon. Notes are bergamot. If you've been here for a while, you guys know bergamot's one of my favorite scents. Bergamot Watermelon. This is inspired by Ralph Lauren Polo Blue, which if you guys bought that retail in store, it is so expensive. This one is much more affordable and it smells the same. And speaking of unisex scents, I actually got two. This is Woody Sage. This is one of my favorite repurchases. This is a unisex scent. It's very light. This is inspired by Joe Malone's Wood sage and sea salt one of my all-time favorite scents in your order it comes with the little information card that tells you about it and they also sent me one i wasn't expecting which was really cool which is one of their dossier originals so they started making their own original fragrances which i think is pretty cool this one was just really on trend for spring and summer it is called fresh margarita very citrusy i actually really like pairing the two of these together. So I've been kind of experimenting spraying both of them. Can't wait to try out more of their original scents. If you guys are interested in trying out Dossier, the link will be down below. And you can also use my coupon code KayleeLane10 at checkout to save a discount off of your very first purchase. Let me know what you guys end up trying. Now back into this haul. All right, so I have six pieces to show you and then we are going to list them. I've already photographed them, but let's go back in time so I can show you this thrift haul. So context, I was sourcing that day and was finding absolutely nothing. And I actually ended up picking up all six of these pieces at the same thrift store because I kind of was like, hey, you need a mindset shift and we need to start focusing on styles and factors and aesthetics so we can at least get something for the day to list. And I think it did a pretty good job. So the first one that I picked up was this Boulder Creek Aztec jacket, super Southwestern. I know that it is warmer weather, but I still think that this is gonna translate to that crowd that loves that really out there Western looking stuff. Really great colors on this too. We've talked about, you know, bright multicolor graphics. Um, this would be a case where that print I think is really going to shine. Plus it is a larger size and it's a men's. The next item is an Old Navy dress. If you guys know, I just did that deep dive on Old Navy and I love selling Old Navy dresses. Now, traditionally I like to pick up only the maxi length dresses or the midi length dresses because the longer length dresses do so much better. However, when I found this Old Navy dress, I thought that there was enough factor stacking that was really going to pull that item through. And recently I have sold some knee length or shorter Old Navy dresses for, you know, bread and butter, 25, 30 bucks. And it's really surprised me. I'm not telling you guys to pick up the shorter length ones because I think that it really depends on the factors, um, but I'll just say I had a good gut feeling about this one. So factors involved, super Hawaiian, nice bright multicolor, which people are looking for for spring and summer, and it is a size extra large, which is a plus. Next item I got is in a category that I focus on a lot, specifically when I'm looking for style-based stuff, and that is the plus size category. I cannot explain to you the world that opened up for sourcing once I realized that plus size added so much value to certain brands, and it really opened up a whole new avenue of sourcing for me. So I really take my time in the plus size section uh, because there are so many brands that I wouldn't normally get um, that I do look up because they're plus size. So in this case, this is Liz Claypool and this is definitely not a brand I pick up very often, but this one's a size 3X. It is that bright multicolor print, again, very trendy. It is a more substantial piece with being a button up and long sleeve. The next item I got is by a brand called White Stag, which just 
erase that from your memory. I wouldn't recommend picking up um, anything by that brand just because of the brand, but I'm taking a chance with this one because it is super cottage core boho. It's got like crochet knit details to it. I think there are a lot of aesthetics that this could fall under. So we can use some great keywords and really bring the right buyer to the item. Next up, and this one is definitely a stretch, but again, I had a really great gut feeling about it. It is the brand Loft and I pick up hardly like never any loft. Um, but when I do, it's usually at the bins and there have to be a lot of factor stacking. In this case, this one is new with tags. It is a size large, has some puff sleeves. It's just very on trend, but the new with tags is definitely what pulled that through for me. And the very last one is a newer aesthetic that has started becoming popular, which is like the rave or the disco crowd the sheer factor. Um, items that are sheer is very trendy right now. And some great keywords you can use for that, we'll talk about it when I do the listing, are like rave and disco. This was a great piece uh, that we might be able to bring the right buyer through and pull through those factors and those aesthetics. <laughs> So we are gonna list these items. I will say probably all of these and anytime you are focusing on just style-based stuff and factor stacking, you're probably only gonna be able to get uh, roughly on average maybe 25 bucks for each of these pieces. And even that is on the higher end. I think it really takes a great listing with the right keywords to squeeze that amount of money into the listing. But I feel pretty good about these pieces. I think I'm gonna list them all for about 25 to 30 bucks and i'm again just happy that my mind has been opened to all the possibilities of sourcing not just with these brands that we're trying to memorize but also the trending factors and styles which sometimes far outweigh brands i mean people are not really searching brands anymore they're searching for specific styles and factors so i feel really good about these pieces all right let's dive in to the listing all right, you guys, so I already went ahead and opened up all of these drafts and we have the images uploaded. We're gonna start with the Boulder Creek jacket. So this is a Boulder Creek men's. So these are our title structure, which is the brand, the gender, what the item is, small description, uh, the size, and then any other keywords. And we're making sure to prioritize any keywords we know is going to get the right buyer to the listing. And whenever you pick up something style-based, you really have to rely on those keywords. Now, title, those keywords in your title are going to be prioritized in search. Um, I have noticed that eBay has been pulling some information from the drop down, and I think possibly the description. I'm not 100% sure right now, um, but I do know that the title is highly prioritized. All right, so we've got Boulder Creek men's Aztec jacket, size extra large, tall, Southwestern's a great keyword. We're going to say fleece. 
uh, button and maybe even multicolor would be a good one. Multicolor and we're out of words. All right, I'm gonna take down a button and we're going to prioritize multicolor. All right, next up, we need to add our skew, which is CL-4, that's my closet rack four. Got my cost of goods in there. Changing this to men's jackets. And at this point, we have already uploaded um, the draft and the shell of it and added some information in bulk the way that we upload things. So I'm just filling in the rest of the details. eBay does not have a drop down for it, so we're going to add one. And I am going to choose one of their jackets, um, one of their drop downs instead of adding my own, only because buyers, when you add your own custom drop down, like buyers aren't going to find that if they're looking through the drop down, but they will find it if you're choosing one of these. So I just pick the one that is most relevant. Most of the time we're picking overcoat um, if we feel like it doesn't you know, match up to anything else. This is 100% polyester and it's machine washable. And this was a tall, so we're going to change that to XLT color. This is definitely multicolor. I'm going to skip a lot of these. Pattern's kind of geometric. Closure is button, occasions casual, uh, I think that's enough information. <clears throat> now really there's no point of putting anything in here that we already have in the title, so I am going to pick a couple of other keywords that I think might fit and might bring the right buyer to it. I think I'm also going to include the keyword hippie. Um, because I do think for the men's hippie aesthetic that this might fall under that. Ranch, barn, chore is another one. Washing instructions were machine wash and our size was an extra large tall. We have no flaws. And this one I'm actually pricing up at about 40 bucks. And I need my weight, which is one pound. We're gonna round up to one pound seven ounces for the weight of the bag. And this is not going to fit in a padded flat rate. So we're gonna change that to priority mail. These are, um, these are the eBay these are the eBay business policies that I have set up. Um, if you guys wanna watch that video, I can link it below. All right, everything else looks good. We are gonna save that for later because I'm actually gonna schedule these. Next up, we have Old Navy Hawaiian dress for large. I think this is more below knee instead of midi, which technically could be considered midi, but I think it's um, a little bit more below knee. Um, we're gonna do tiered. We're gonna do faux wrap. Maybe we should just do V-neck. And I think I'm gonna prioritize the keyword beach on here and blue. There are a bunch of other keywords we can use, but I think I know my buyer well enough um, that those are the keywords that I'm going, going to choose. Consider this like a sundress and maybe even fit and flare dress. Uh, I'd say that's fit and flare. 
cool. Um, we're going to call this knee length, even though it's really below knee. And this is floral, which now I'm wondering if maybe I should have put... I think I'm actually going to make an exception and put floral instead of the gender here. Um, because if somebody searches Old Navy dress, um, it's automatically going to filter to the women's category. So I don't feel like there's a need for me to do that. Um, so I'm going to put floral there. Sleeveless, casual, possibly travel, material, machine wash, cotton. Can go ahead and click that although I don't normally click it all right we have beach and we took out vacation so I'm gonna add vacation I'm also gonna include preppy we're gonna put multicolor ocean I think that's pretty good And I believe the size was an XL, but we'll double check. It is, and the weight is, we're gonna round up to 10 ounces. And it does fit in a padded flat rate envelope, so we're gonna leave that. All right, next up, I'm gonna go a little bit faster on this one, and probably for the rest of them, and just list it, and you guys can see what keywords I choose.
tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until i look away but i've known you too long it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray as you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really want to hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I'm never fell this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away As you fade away All right, you guys, and I am saving the very last one here. I'm going to get those scheduled. All right, you guys, so that's it for listing these items and the thrift haul. Let me know what you guys think about these pieces below. Would you have picked these pieces up? Have you heard about some of these trending factors and styles? If you guys want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe down below, hit that notification bell, and then let me know down in the comments that you want to see more videos like this. And if you're interested in deep diving more into these styles and trends that are becoming really popular, backed by data, we do talk about this in thorough detail on the group. I mean, we are 
they're doing like vintage deep dives and all kinds of cool stuff over there. So I'd love to have you guys over there. Link to that is also down below in the description box. And the link will also bring you to more information about the group. But that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.